Wait. No. This can't be right. Or talk. <laughs> he made a friend. Yeah. Where's your evidence? <laughs> uh, uh, bro. Th there's so much evidence. <laughs> All the evidence that we just said. You need proof. Without any proof, you can't pin any of this on him. Oh. <laughs> Evidence that Mondo is the killer that already revealed itself earlier in the trial. I'll have to just check that one item of his and everything will become clear. A new element has been added to the bowl time oh. battles. Would you like to hear more? Sure. Absolutely. Fever time and... Mega time. During a bowl right. time battle, if you press the space key, fever time will activate and the tempo will be forced to its max. Whoa. At this point, even if you push the buttons at random, you won't miss. Nice. Whoa. So you can push right mouse button, left mouse button, right mouse button, left mouse button, however you want to destroy the opponent's verbal soul. But this only lasts until your focus gauge runs out, so make the best possible use of your time. Of course, it wouldn't be fair if only you got access to special time, huh? So we've also prepared something called Nega Time that your opponent can use. If the opponent activates it during the bullet time battle, your tempo marker will disappear, making it quite a bit tougher to hit the buttons in rhythm. I'll say... <laughs> <laughs> if you were to activate fear time at this point, no, never mind. I'm sure nothing would happen. I don't know what I was worried about. What? <laughs> if your action difficulty is set to gentle, they won't use it. Well, then good luck and have fun. What? Ooh. Oh, Terrible. My rhythm is garbage. Is, your action difficulty is set to gentle. Show me some evidence. No, it's not. You're wrong. I'm pretty sure it is. We I put the listen. logic of the, you. the battle or the logic of the trials hard. The battles are not. Show me some evidence. Touch your rhythm, sir. Listen. False. I refuse to vote. Show me some evidence. We oh, yeah. have. Negative. I won't oh. listen. <laughs> I, I thought you set the action to, to easy. <laughs> Show me some evidence. Beep bop ba doop bop ba beep bop ba doop bop. Do that. Show me some evidence. This should prove it. Broken e handbook. Break. If my thinking so far is right, Mondo must have replaced his broken handbook with Leon's. In True. which case, we can just check each of our handbooks right now. Once we do that, we'll... We don't gotta do that. <gasps> huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Aww. I did it. I killed him. Mondo! No! <laughs> But we all love him. I know. How could, they, how could they kill him off? If we all love him. Nice. Nice. You got an A. It doesn't feel good. Bro. <laughs> this is sad. I got no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just give up. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. Wow, what a badass. God damn verdict. Roger that. Oh, wait, hold on! No, no holding on! <laughs> this is the moment we've all been waiting for! Grab your lever and give it a yank! Who sure. will you elect as the blackened this time around? Will you hmm. make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Do we all What's have to guess the same thing or is it a... Majority rules. So we could say... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We'd all die. Well, I could say Biakia, the rest of you could say Mondo. <laughs> Aww, but he's my best friend. He was so cool. Mm. What secret did you try to hide? Uh-oh, this time it looks like you got it right again. Yes, it is so. The blacken that killed Chihiro Fujisaki was Mondo Awada. No. In uh, case you're wondering, the vote was not unanimous. Kiyotaka chose the wrong uh, answer. <laughs> you're treading very close to the danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. I refuse to believe it. There's no way, no way he would kill someone. Sorry. Uh, what is this? Why are you apologizing? Why? Why? <laughs> He might be suffering a mental breakdown as we speak. 
<laughs> yeah. It's why not good you, going forward. Why'd you do it? Now then. Well, it looks like Mondo's taken a vow of silence, so allow me to explain on his behalf. Actually, the story of the murder this time is the sad story of two men. Oh, but for anyone who doesn't really want to hear it, you can hit the control key to fast forward the text. Huh. <laughs> what an interesting thing. Anyway, there was once a young boy, and his name was Chihiro Fujisaki. Hello. He had an extreme inferiority complex regarding his own lack of strength. You're so weak, even though you're a boy. He'd heard things like that as long as he could remember, and he couldn't overcome his weakness. On the contrary, he decided he tried to hide and bury himself further and further into that weakness to take on the fragile form of a petite young girl. He had chosen that as his way out. Um. Oh. Uh... <clears throat> petite young girl. <laughs> right. Now nobody will be able to say anything about even though you're a boy. Perfect. <laughs> You did it. It's a lot different <laughs> from how I played Chihiro, uh -huh. but won't you stop it? <laughs> Petite young girl. But no matter how tightly he wrapped himself up in that shell, the inferiority complex had already taken root deep inside of him and was not e so easily weeded out. As it turned out, the shell was completely empty. The complex didn't disappear. Instead, it only grew stronger and stronger. <laughs> was a good being. You can voice to hear again. I'm, I didn't mean to steal oh. your thunder. I'm weak. <laughs> the last weak, time. Weak, 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 oh. weak, weak, weak. Weep, weep, Month, weep, weep. Day, year. Yeah. Once the killing game had begun here at the school, he had no choice but to accept this fact. After all, this world is survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you won't. You don't survive. Ba -ba. And then, Yay. the lovely and hateful Madokuma announced the revealing of the embarrassing secrets, which, of course, included Chihiro's embarrassing secret, which I was more than willing to divulge. How kind of you. Even though he dresses like a girl, Chihiro is actually a boy. Hey, um... And that was something Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out, no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack. The armor would fall away. Without a doubt, those around him would torture him more than ever before. Everyone figured being thrust into such a dilemma must have sp sent him spiraling in despair. What? And yet... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Chihiro is a good person. <laughs> but... but... <laughs> I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. <laughs> After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. <laughs> Annoyingly, he used the thread of discovery to motivate himself to become stronger. Right. That's right. Uh, Here's my uh, answer! <laughs> now's my chance. I want to change. I'm going to get stronger and accept who I am. Strong enough that when I blah, when someone says, even though you're a boy, I'll be okay. I'll get better. That's pretty heartwarming. With that thought at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate action. And so that day, he made the commitment to begin exercising. He was prepared to retrain his mind and body. But sadly, that would be the first and only chance he would get at it. Get at it. Get at it. When he decided to start exercising, he thought it would be a good idea to ask for someone's help. But he wanted to tell that person his secret first, and then ask them to help him from there. And the person he went to... Yeah, that's right. It was me. Alabama! Yep, it sure was! The biker gang fella had been painfully clear about how important his manly promises were. You hinted at that at one point. Did you I? did. You did. You might not realize it, but you did. Oh, alright. Cool. Look at so me go. Chihiro probably figured that even if he confided in Mondo, his honor would make him keep the secret. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Da -da -da. Plus, Mr. Macho Mondo was very symbol of a strong man that Chihiro had always aspired to. Yeah, there's that. Maybe talking to Mondo about it will help give me some courage. This is actually Sakura's voice. 
So he went and asked Mondo to help him become strong. I don't think Chihiro is supposed to say that. I but... was not supposed to have said that. <laughs> but it definitely says Chihiro. <laughs> I did, though. That is what a strong person does. That was his aspiration. <laughs> and he thought that only with Mondo's support would he ever be able to come close to that. Correct. So then, that must be why Mondo did what he did to keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro. Huh? And? Did what he did? You mean that's why Mondo carried Chihiro from the boys' locker room into the girls' locker room? Indeed. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Um, Wasn't that to cover up what he'd done? Certainly. That could have been part of it, but I don't think it was the main reason. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he'd made to Chihiro. But... Oh, like, um, but how does... Oh, I'm Russian. How does moving the body keep his secret? Because... <laughs> I forget. Because if everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, then everyone would have been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room, right? Once that started up, at least a few of us would have immediately begun to suspect his identity, so... He tried to protect Chihiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing his handbook. See? Then Mon love. Mondo did all that to keep the promise he'd made to Chihiro, who he'd also killed. Also that. 